let's move on to some trivia uh, about the movie, starting with Who Am I? Truth is, I am Iron Man. I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Batman. Click Commander. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, I'm Batman. Yes. <laughs> Rich bitch. <laughs> Jay and Silent Bob gets me every time. I fucking love it. Uh, uh, that was another one of the movies we based all of it. Yeah. Most of it on. Uh, uh, but yeah, so who am I? You'll, you'll start, Tim. Uh, I'll give it a start. Uh, Got to pull up my backup. Uh, all right, so my four movies... I swear, if you pick the same person, planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> okay, we didn't. Spaceballs, Splash, and Uncle Buck. John Candy. Yeah, that's John Candy. That is John Can Candy. Can be the only John Candy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. He turned down Wayne Zelinsky in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Harold Ram- Her- Harold Ramis. No, John Candy did. Oh, he he actually said. Oh, I thought you were going again. I was like, what? No, <laughs> I got my Hell Ramis, drunk. Oh, <laughs> this, is ex- this is extra trivia. This is uh, extra trivia. Trivia, oh. trivia about that person. Oh, um, he also turned down Lewis Tully in Ghostbusters. So he turned down both <laughs> both of, Rick Moranis roles. Yeah. Um, and he actually Probably said better. that he is better suited for these roles. John Candy oh, said yeah. that Rick Moranis. Absolutely. Uh, what about was, Little Giants? Was he offered that? I don't know. Also another movie we should probably do. <laughs> Little Giants? <laughs> that is a good one. Spike, don't play with girls. Uh, he was in Ray Parker Jr.'s Ghostbusters movie, music video. Did you know that? I did not oh, know my that. God. I knew it was Ray Parker Jr., but I didn't know he was. We're in- watching that after. But he, also with random celebrities who were in this music video, Chevy Chase, Danny DeVito. Um, what? <laughs> Danny DeVito. There's maybe ten more. Oh I can remember. God. I only wrote down those two, but there's. I did not know that. That's for. Chevy Chase is in like two scenes of the music video, <laughs> singing to call the Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> um, and then uh, my my third random fact about John Candy is that he had his own radio show in Los Angeles uh, called Radio Candy with a K. Uh, the two hour <laughs> top forty music comedy radio show featured Second City Comics and came into fruition fruition there you go fruition after Candy (laughs) caught the radio bug after doing DJ stint in Canada hmm hmm fun facts I love John Candy his role in uh, Home Alone is classic. Yes. <laughs> it's such a little cl- the cameo and the the trumpet. What, what's the name of their <laughs> no, band? Polka band. Polka uh, band. <laughs> what is it? They had oh, a name, uh, right? They did have. I think, a name. Yeah. Oh damn it! I got it. All right, trivia. What's the trivia? Name? Someone. All right, someone no. answers before <laughs> this month. I don't know. Home Alone Polka <laughs> band. Yeah, you, that, that that'll probably get it too. Home Alone. The Kenosha Kickers. Yes. <laughs> that's Fantastic. awesome. The Kenosha Kickers. Shout out Carthage. That's, that's Shout Kenosha, out right? Kenosha, yeah. Wisconsin. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Shout out Carthage. It's, Kenosha's so close to Chicago, too. It's like 40 it's minutes. 40, 40 minutes. Yeah, 40 it's, a quick, it's a quick drive. Pretty much from anywhere in the Chicago area, I feel like. You could say it's like 40, 40, 45 minutes away anywhere. I almost went to Carthage, actually. My cousin went there, and I was going to swim there, but, you know, decided not to. I got in Illinois, too. It's like, why would I just not go to Illinois? <laughs> why did I you know, just like, stay in why not? Just go to Champaign. You're not too far. <laughs> Public university. Exactly. Kenosha kickers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so my want? who am I? Okay. Uh, what I'm known for is Frailty, True Lies, Apollo 13, and Aliens. Oh, is that uh, Sean Sean Young? 
Uh, no. Good guess, though. Aliens. Yeah, this, this, is gonna, this is going to throw everyone off. Is, are we going to know this name? Yeah, absolutely. Ju- it's not Judge Reinhold, then. Cause, it is not. It is not, yeah. because yeah. he'd be Beverly Hills would be, like, his number one. <laughs> I really that like is it. his number one, is Beverly Hills. <laughs> Can you do him again? One more yes. Time? Yeah, uh, do it again. Frailty, True Lies, Aliens, and... Hold on, I lost the last True one. Lies? What the heck's the name of that guy? Uh, Apollo 13. And it's kind of one of those... <clears throat> I'll say this, it's one of those Dennis Quaid cameos where he's in the movie somewhere. Bill Paxton? Bill Paxton. Apparently he Bill is on the, he's on the cast I, list as a soldier. I was scrolling through and I hit Bill here. Paxton and that's oh, got to be it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bill Paxton. What, he was Soldier 8? That's hilarious. I, it just said Soldier for when I saw it. I was like, well, I have to pick him. I was him. scrolling through it. It has to be him. Yeah. Random, um, facts about some random facts about him. Yeah, R.I.P. again. Oh, uh, yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. Sergeant Hulk, double R.I.P. Double R.I.P. <laughs> for Warren Oates. Okay. Um, he was the only other actor to have been killed by a Terminator, an alien, a Predator, the Grim Reaper, and a serial killer. That's I don't awesome. know who the other actor is, but it says he was the only other. Only other? <laughs> Maybe the only one. And the other one, or the other fact, uh, he was the first choice as Robert Langdon in The Da Vinci Code. He turned down the role because he was already signed on for Big Love. Bill Paxton? Uh, yep. Interesting. Tom, and then Tom Tom Hanks was cast instead. I could see that. All those though. movies sucked, though. It's kind of a shame. The <laughs> books were, were like, so okay. good. I didn't read the books. I, I read the books twice. They're really yeah, it, good. It was like a national treasure for me. I'm like, oh, this shit's Natty kind, of, kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's cool. It was like a it's milder like, if it was like, Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Dude, all if those books cool, are great. If it's cool, that'd be real. But they're all really good. They're, all th- they're thrillers, really you know, like yeah. history yeah. you know, stuff is good. But, oh, wow, Bill Paxton was supposed to be Robert Lincoln. Interesting. That, that that was an that's an interesting one for me. That's why I was, I was like, this is. All right, did we pick either of your two though? No, I mean, I'm just gonna go with no. the one I want to do. <laughs> no, you're doing both. Okay, okay, I can we'll do, do both, both. I guess. Uh, I'll okay, so okay. I'll this person both. was in Ghostbusters, Stripes, <laughs> Groundhog Day, and Knocked Up. Harold Ramis. Yeah, Harold. I mean, it's only between two people. You can really guess their so. <laughs> yeah, Right. Yeah. That was an easy one. I just want. Knocked I, up. I wasn't was sure what to do. Knocked up that's, was the no, giveaway. That's a good yeah, one. knocked up was the, his cameo, and that's fantastic. It's oh, great. <laughs> Actually, he plays a, a doctor in fucking Bolt, doesn't he? In uh, Groundhog Go, Day Go, does. Ghostbusters. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, technically. That's a good I point. I forgot about great. that. Yeah. The knocked up scene is just so funny it's, when he's he's just like, you know, that was back when I you know stopped smoking weed, except for at night and all day during the weekend. <laughs> during the weekend. Uh, but yeah, that's a classic scene. Harold Ramis, R.I.P. Uh, okay, so fu- fun facts for those that don't know. I mean, obviously he's a Chicago guy. Uh, him and Bill Murray grew up, you know, pretty much grew up together, right? And then they had their little falling out, but. They made up in the end, I guess. Unfortunately. Yeah. We, um, we missed out on a lot of movies. He, he directed Groundhog Day. Uh, he actually directed some Office episodes, too. You guys Office guys? Yeah. Yes. Big Office guys. I know. I, I love. Okay. Some extra <laughs> trivia. Can you guess the four episodes? Oh. Yeah, I, no. That's what I'm I mean. That, that's a tough one. I want to say season five or four. He directed you two. Could, you could think of, like, the classic episodes. Uh, one of them was Beach Games, the Beach Games episode. <laughs> okay, that's a good, that's a good right, one. Yeah, you know, the, the, the sumo wrestling ones. just cracks me up every time. <laughs> 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 the look in Stanley's Andy, eyes. <laughs> the look in Stanley's eyes. <laughs> must be the most terrifying moment of my life. Andy, I'm with Dunder Mifflin. <laughs> He's just, like, floating in the water. <laughs> Andy just floating out the pasture. Uh, that's a good episode. The the delivery part two. I think that's when is that when Pam has her, her baby? baby? I think yeah. and she oh, yeah. they, they keep lying about or she keeps oh, faking yeah. I'm her. Going la- into labor. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps faking about it's going the into labor. <laughs> that is a good cold open. Uh, he directed the safety training episode. That's all. It, you always, oh. That's a very meme when Dwight's like cutting is that out the, the white one. He directed that one. Oh my god. Psycho. 
That's a it's a freaky scene. Yeah, that's one of yeah, but that's off. that's one of the best cold opens to an episode too, though. That's like, a good one. That's a good, oh, what was the song that that they were like sinking the CPR staying to alive. staying alive? Oh yeah, uh, 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 and and Michael starts with what does he start with? At first, I, I was, was afraid. afraid. I was <laughs> petrified. It's like, that is not the song. <laughs> he's, he's just pounding like every once in a while. Like, at so first, good. I was afraid. I was petrified. And then he directed uh, the Benihana Christmas episode. That's a good oh, one. Oh, that's another one. Uh, when Michael, when Michael no, the, can't the re- mark, re- Yeah, the <laughs> mark that he puts when on he him. marks down to one of the, the servers. Number one. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I, I marked one of them <laughs> when he's talking to Jim at the end. Dude, he directed uh, and uh, it's count, This is fu- like I didn't. I learned something when I, you know, researched uh, Harold Ramis. I mean, I knew he was a big time, you know, writer, but and, and director as well. Uh, so he he wrote uh, National Lampoon's Vacation. I didn't know that. Oh. That's a classic. Um, I think I knew that though. Yeah. I mean, he wrote Caddyshack. I mean, that's oh, obvious. That one, yeah. Everyone that knows that. No one. Um, that, dude, that almost failed. That did fail. It should Caddyshack, not have it's a cult classic. You know, it, like it, it, it did not do good in the box office. No, it no, makes, not it at all. Probably no. makes more it, it probably makes more money. It probably lost money. Yeah. It, well, I don't think it would lose money You're on a golf course. So, I mean, you well, could. Filming and all that. I think it, I think it did. It probably they, like broke even or something. Well, I mean, they blew up the course even though they said not to. Yeah. So they just did it anyway. Um, I'm sure they had to pay for that. Or someone had to pay for that. <laughs> that was our first Bill Murray movie, actually. First Bill Murray. Yeah, that's, you know, we can get into Caddyshack a little bit later. Um, uh, let me see. Okay, so he wrote three films that have been selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress Gold as Busters. being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he wrote this one. Okay, so what's you said Ghostbusters. That's one of them. That's, gotta be one, that's of one of them. Um, now that you said, I don't know this one. I didn't know he wrote this one, but the other one you should know. It's one of his, his big movies with Bill Murray. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day. Groundhog Day yeah. The other one, I'm shocked about Give this one. years. This one was from the 70s, John, uh, John Belushi. Blues Brother? And... No, Animal House. Animal House. Animal House. I did not know he wrote that. He I was probably one of the only people not in the movie. That did he was write a that? Like he couldn't have wrote, hired... written that about a Northwestern frat. Yeah. Right? No, 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 no. I doubt they, that. Uh, yeah. it, was, <laughs> it was him, Scott Kenny, who died at like thirty. Did you ever see that video on Netflix? No. Uh, fuck. Uh, I'll find the thing out. But Matt Forte plays like the lead, Scott Kenny. The okay. Movie. Hysterical! It's about like the lampoon na- uh, like the national Mayfield? where they started that and then went into all the movies that they did. And Caddyshack kind of drove him crazy. So he that was w- his first directing movie. It was Caddyshack? Caddyshack? Yeah, I think that's the first one. Like where he's like his first it's just one him like ever. directing. He I think that's what it was. he wrote and directed Groundhog Day too. That's a, and that's kind of where I love Groundhog him and Day. Bill Murray's so relationship turned a little bit. That uh, I think it was one of my that. one of my that, favorite quotes that? in comedy is from uh, Groundhog Day uh, <laughs> when he's at the bar and then um, he's he finishes his drink. He looks at the bartender. He's like, "I'll have another one with some booze in it, please." <laughs> <laughs> with some booze. With some booze. <laughs> I, I love that. I love Groundhog Day, <laughs> but I'm sure we're all going to talk about that. With our top ten, yes, or yeah, I think it's probably lower on my list than both of yours, but I, mine's up there. No, my li- my my Groundhog top lists are always for me. Are, are always controversial. I rank movies I haven't seen. I, I, I have a <laughs> yeah, co- Tony has seen, ranked a movie thing, he hasn't like, seen. I, I mean, I don't have ten <laughs> movies. I only have like seven or eight. That's also see part Tony would have had ten. If I haven't only seen them, like I I I am not gonna lie, and I'm gonna give you shit. Already. <laughs> it's so the movies happen. you haven't seen. Um but yeah, so yeah, that's our fun facts about Harold the Ramis. Actor, I yeah. yeah, he National Treasure with his uh writing skills, man. All those movies Definitely. are great. He, he he just had a way to make it like okay, yeah, relatable. Everyone, everyone exactly, relatable, everyone understands it, but it's so funny and it's so outlandish. Where, yeah. I feel like he would still write well, like now. No, now if he, it is if for, he would, if he sure. would, he would adapt to you know comedy there. now, and he'd be crushing it. 
Because the comedy, you know, sucks in my opinion right now. There's no real good Is comedy really, movies anymore. Really, not as many like hit after hit as there used to be. Yeah, because because we, we were talking yeah, about we this earlier like a, when we were talking about Bill Murray, like recasting. Reed. We'll talk about that later. But like, there's nobody like Bill Murray anymore. Not even close. Absolutely. Like recasting comedies from the '80s. Like we should talk about Trading Places. That's that should be another one mm. we talk about in See, the like, future. That's, I, I'm gonna admit I've only seen like parts of that. I love that yeah, movie. That's another know, top five for me. The parts I've seen, I love. But just like I've never seen the whole thing. Uh, it's funny because none of these guys are in that movie when you think they would be. That's what they came out yeah, right around. Would test, would all Dan SNL Aykroyd, guys. Yeah. Eddie Murphy, all <laughs> SNL guys too. You know, unreal. But. Maybe a later date. <laughs> we're we're going to have like five episodes that just come out with Jeremy. Just talking about SNL a lot. And well, I mean, you could do a whole thing about just SNL movies. For real, though, yeah. All right, what are your random facts about the movie? Random. Do you want to start? About the movie, not just the actor. Uh, about the movie, yeah. I will start. Uh, Hulka was originally supposed to be killed in a uh, mortar accident uh, in that scene. And replaced by his twin brother, also played by Warren Oates. However, the idea was discarded before filming. I think this would have been perfect. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you don't really need all him. Right, all right, I, I'm, thinking, the I'm thinking Beer Fest, Landfill <laughs> 2. Yeah, and he goes, Hokel has told me everything about you. <laughs> we're good. Like, if they do that. I completely understand where we're at and what's going on. And then, <laughs> like, Hokel's on the That's back. Hokel 2's on the back the whole time. And, like, at the end, he's like, now I know you guys better. Like, That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think that'd be perfect. Uh, I'm his brother. I haven't seen I'm him in years. <laughs> he, he's told me everything and no one need to know about found you. Found his diary yeah. in, his, <laughs> in his room. Found his, his diary. His, his apartment room. It's like a pink in diary. the barracks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. Kind of notes on everybody. Uh, and then my number two is that army recruitment figures went up ten percent after the film came out. That's which, so awesome. Yeah, that sounds crazy. That's wild. Just right there. I feel like we talked about movie. it like we were watching right. it earlier, but now I can't like, remember what we were saying, but it's just <laughs> recruitment um, tools that that movie. It really is. It yeah. really is, yes. That, They're just having a blast, you know, they the one goofball in the I group. Think, I think like one of them is like they make jokes about how insufficient they are, but they helped out the entire time for the movie. Like, yeah. That was yeah. All they did. Like how ridiculous everything they do is, but it's still still makes sense unreal uh but those are my two all right uh my two is that kind of sticking with the army fact uh the u.s army was actually very helpful and cooperative during filming uh which surprised the director um ivan reitman reitman uh since the script depicts the military as being buffoons so he was kind of surprised that they're like oh yeah here's some tanks he, probably knew. Oh, yeah. he probably knew it would help the army out just by having these idiots on you know, it, on, 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 on the army base, it, yeah. he just was like, "Oh wait, Bill Murray's joining. Oh, we're good. <laughs> Do totally we fine. need more. Do whatever you want. We need more dipshits like Bill Murray <laughs> in the army. We'll straighten like, them out. He has a lot of fans. They're all yeah. gonna join. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Bill. Bill Murray's perfect. The average Joe <laughs> is gonna join the army now. The average Joe. We'll make him look good. Yeah, yeah. we'll we'll, we'll straighten him out. It. Oh, and then this, my second one is we were kind of talking about this. Oh yeah, the yeah, this is good. Uh, the cast got drunk for two weeks upon hearing of John Lennon's death. Um, John Larroquette later admitted that he was drunk in the scene when he dressed down the company after they watched, participated in, watched and participated in the mud wrestling. Stillman. Yes. Stillman. Stillman yeah, I was gonna say I don't even know. <laughs> So he was messed up when he was like, you're, he, you're, you're, no, everyone else was. Oh, they all were. I think they all were. They all were. Yeah. He, he was drunk. And then they but he was were. the one talking. Yeah. So, he but was, he's he visibly was fucked had, up. No, <laughs> he had most no of the you stuff can tell going. everyone's laughing. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucked oh, up. We're going to the bingo parlor. <laughs> <laughs> His sweatshirt's classic, too. It says death before disco. Yeah. Yeah. Judge yeah. Reynolds. It really? yeah. It's classic. Oh. And he's got like the, the, uh, the, the big sunglasses he's on. Got the, like, it's like Ray Ban. Yeah. Anyway. I think we need to go back to that <laughs> yeah. scene. We, we probably do. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. Um, and then even after filming, moved to L.A., uh, Bill Murray and Warren Oates had a drunken evening beside the grave of late actor Struther Martin. I'm not sure who that guy is. Who's Struther Martin? I don't know. You got the computer. Yeah, let's take a peek here. Struther Martin. Martin. Was he? I'm assuming he was in the movie. He might have been in the movie. He, I don't. Oh, I think this is the general or something. Uh, oh, that, 
it, it might have been. I don't. I don't know. Might have been. Uh, uh, it definitely looks like the the general. This guy. I think that's the general, right? The one that was because he was pretty old yeah, in yeah, the that graduation like scene. That, yeah. That general. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so for my random facts about the movie, um, Sean Young, the uh, Harold Ramis is uh, Russell's girlfriend or whatever, and Bill Murray did not get along. In the intro, the uh, New York, New York scene, that one. Uh, Harold no. R- Russell's. Did I say Bill Murray? No, you said Russell. Russell's, Russell's, not Russell's the girlfriend. Girl in the beginning. The oh, what's her uh, face from Ace Ventura? Okay. Yeah, they so her and uh, Bill Murray did not get she and uh, Bill Murray did not get along uh, because I guess she didn't like how he went off script and ad libbed and, and improv the scenes, but like that's what Bill Murray was that's and that's guy. what he did and that's what made him great is just improving, just being Work for goof. Saturday and then probably alive. drunk. That's all, just, all <laughs> improv. Yeah, probably just hammered the entire. Time. He's just a goofball, you know. He's he crushed every single scene. I know we always we we were talking about it like. There's no one like Bill Murray, which makes recasting impossible. You know, he's one of a kind. Um, you can never recreate that ever. No, it's 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 sad though. But you know, that just makes it. it I love the fact that he's from Chicago too. That it makes yeah, it so much better. You just, know, even though he's a rambler, a we'll uh, we'll allow it. Uh, <laughs> well, I was gonna say, even though he was on, he, he was on the Glenview side. Like <laughs> yeah, the, from Chica- he's Chicagoish. Yeah, he's the fact yeah. he you know Chicago area. <laughs> But uh, so I but guess he likes the Cubs. Yeah, yeah he's so a Cub, Cub, Cubs fan, famous Cubs fan. Um, I love the fact that he was like inviting random people to the games, at the World Series run. It's, Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. he was just he handing just out random, tickets, random and they would just go. Little. And that imagine that you're standing outside, you know, Cleveland Stadium or, or Wrigley, and Bill Murray walks up to you and gives you a <laughs> ticket. One, you're like, oh my god, Bill Murray's standing next to me. <laughs> this ticket's worth like pants. four grand too, yeah. you know. And then you get to go <laughs> to the game. Thanks, grand. thanks, Bill. Uh, but that's awesome. Uh, so I guess Bill Murray said, "I'm all right. I'm never going to work with this Sean Young lady again." You don't like the way I work. You're you're the idiot. You That's know, awesome. because it's I, your problem, yeah, it's your not problem. mine. Uh, I'm going to be doing pretty well. I had four written down. I kind of went over, but oh, yeah. um, I guess the 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 platoon the platoon intro scene was all improv. Like, like Bill Murray's whole speech, he just came up with on the spot, <laughs> which is awesome. Uh, when he talks about. Lee Harvey. Lee Harvey. <laughs> you could tell that guy was not ready for it at all. Oh, he, was, he, oh, it took, he cracks up. He it took him up. like 10 seconds to finally smile. Yeah, that was good. Uh, and the, the big toe. How he just rolls the right into toe. the big toe speech. Sergeant Hulk, Sergeant Hulk is not always going to be that big toe for us. <laughs> <laughs> I think we owe Sergeant Hulk a big you, round of applause. Could, <laughs> our biggest, could, our best buddy. <laughs> You can almost tell, like, anytime he's talking, like, if they're showing anyone else, they're, like, trying not to laugh. Like, this scene has the been The entire rolling. time, yeah. Like, he's just been in- improvising for a very long time. The only person in, like, our generation that can compare is Will Ferrell. But, like, their characters aren't the same. Like... You can't even... Yeah, but, no, he, But, like, as far as improv... Play. As far as improv goes... That you know, Will Ferrell can think on his spot. I was just saying, I would give it, yes. But I would still give and the lean to Bill good. Murray for sure. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 not yeah, even yeah, no yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, but he, SNL improv I guys. Think yeah, I think they, there's a few other guys that could probably improv. He announced decently. a parade as a different character for like two hours, non scripted. Uh, Ron Burr. Oh yeah, like, yeah. How, That's what? impressive. I think only him with, and with no Bill mat- Murray. With no material. He with was, no material. Him yeah. and Bill Murray are the only people that can pull it off. I think there's a few new guys that could, but... Maybe Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy was Eddie good. Murphy Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Murphy is all-time, like, yeah, SNL stuff. Like, dude, you got, if you haven't watched it, is, uh Eddie Murphy Raw is, like, 1985. It's hilarious. He's dressed up in, like, Seen. a Prince outfit. <laughs> le- the, the red. Purple, yellow, or purple leather... Uh, yeah. jumpsuit. It's it's hilarious. He does a whole bit on uh, Rocky Balboa. And, uh, you you got to just check it out. I'm telling you, it's hilarious. I've seen like parts, but um, it's imp- you know the improv. That's it. It's, you know that's what it is mostly now. Even on like movies now, it's like all right, uh, we'll write this, but you know, <laughs> go ahead. Im- improv for a little bit, and we'll see what we get. And more often than not, they use that. Yeah, it, they use it's the improv- just they natural. Use that you know, the, the natural one, hundred percent of the time. Yeah, I love it. Uh, my third one was uh, Stillman broke his nose bursting through the door. Uh, an, an, an additional take of the scene running through the door. 
uh, the shot shown in the movie, it was actually the first take when he was bursting through the door when uh, he realized the EM-50 was gone. I know we were trying to figure out what, yeah, when that happened. It had to be that scene. It, it, that's the only time he's running through a door. And I, I was just thinking, like, how much that would suck if that happened first or second week of filming on, like, one of your first movies ever. And, like, they yeah, could be like, all right, we're going to find somebody else. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Bye. So you're done. Sorry, you're um, you're fired now. <laughs> that would Pick suck. Up your check at the door. But luckily, they just like put makeup no, on it for the rest luckily. of the film. Not luckily. Thank God. Yeah, because Stillman's <laughs> that actor was hilarious. He, he is just perfect for that role. Hold this, Corporal. <laughs> <laughs> Grenade. But uh, we don't see it. I want some I action. See I want to see that that scene where he just runs out the door and throws it like grenade. Um, and then. Uh, Harold Ramis. Oh, okay. So this is my last one. I guess he didn't want to play Russell in the movie, which and, makes sense off the Dennis Quaid playing that role. So I guess De- uh, oh, allegedly Dennis Quaid uh, oh, inter- no, uh, auditioned no, oh, okay. Dennis Quaid and Bill Murray. But right, Bill yeah. Murray's still with Dennis Quaid's wife, which would be almost weirder. <laughs> I kind of want to see that right, movie. Yeah. <laughs> Dennis Quaid just super jealous every scene. But. <laughs> But uh, so he didn't want to play, and then Bill Murray's like, "Dude, you're playing this. You're playing this role. Yeah. I'm not acting with Dennis Quaid for this comedy. You know, yeah. Dennis Quaid being in the comedy that would it wouldn't have been funny at all. I don't think. No, it's, it's a different. It's a, movie. Very, it's a completely very different, different movie. Very different movie. Uh, so gladly, uh, Harold Ramis decided to to go along with the role to do it. To do it. That's fucking nuts. Um, final thoughts of the movie. I'm trying to think of like I think we hit every quote I want. I, I mean, there's, there's really nothing. There's we probably missed. quotes we missed, but I can't really remember. Uh, not really. I mean, I I would recommend watching the extended version. Oh, I got one. Go ahead. Because when they show like this is a bonus scene, like that was awesome. It's which like, I wish yeah. more movies did. Like. This is a deleted scene, and you can watch the whole thing through, but you know, yeah, where that's a deleted scene. Would be like perfect. I've only seen the extended the extended movie like once, twice. This is the second yeah, time I've see, watched and it. I've seen only that one scene, like, but I loved it. I would, I'd watch that, and I watched like. You don't need the extended. Right I mean, you don't need you, you don't, don't need, need it, it, right? But it's no, good. You though. definitely don't need it, but it's good to watch. I had, I had one final thought. If you wanted to yeah. talk about it, yeah. it's just it's just pretty funny. Um, so obviously they're all celebrated at the end of the movie. You know, they're all the heroes, but they're the only, they're only the heroes because they're fucking idiots and took their vehicle, their top secret vehicle away. (laughs) Then their friends get captured and then they have to rescue their friends. (laughs) So they're being celebrated for rescuing them, for getting them in trouble. You know what I mean? It's just, you know, it's just funny. It's funny to think about. Yeah, they left when they were just supposed to stay there. (laughs) They're they're getting awarded with medals. Everyone else left when they were just supposed to stay. Even Stillman's with them, who should be like, no, they they should not be accommodated. Like, they saved me. Stillman's an idiot because he he was like, all right, let's notify Air... Or or, Holka was like, let's just get air, Air support. Yeah. Just find them right away, and still was oh, yeah. like, "No, I want to protect myself. You know, cover my own track. <laughs> just be an uh, idiot. I think Let's go has... invade a country. <laughs> Let's go start World War Two or three. Or yeah, whatever. World War Three at the time. So it's just funny. They're all getting awarded with like medals of valor for having to <laughs> rescue people that they got it was captured. Their fault, yeah. <laughs> so that that was my. I guess that could be another problem. problem. I was, that brings up one of my Wait, problems. Yeah, that truck problem. definitely has a GPS on it somewhere. Or some form of global positioning I think, where they can or find. They where did it's at. though. I think they did it. They, they, did. they, they triangulated. Also, it. They're like, like they're, where they can find the truck though, not like the truck can find other people. No, the truck can find only other people if you give them the coordinates. And if the coordinates <laughs> the, the are different digit, numbers, yeah. you're good. What if it was like five 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 five? You can only the, hit that the five six digit once. longitude or whatever. Yeah, that. <laughs> The whole rescue, the whole re- not good. The whole, thing, the whole second half of the movie. When you tear it apart, it kind of falls apart. But <laughs> it just kind of throws which, you off. I'm gonna go right into my recasting. Oh yeah, recasting. That's next, right? Okay, yeah, that's next. But I have a good point to that. Okay, I have like three seasons of a show planned out with my recasting. Season one, the intro. They're all bad. No one's in the army. We have. John David Washington, uh, Denzel's son, and Russell, Adam Driver, Kylo Ren. <laughs> he, 
I, straight I like face. Him, yeah. Logan he, he Lucky play. playing a straight straight face. Season two, the army shows up. Holka is played by none other than Nicolas Cage or Brad Garrett. <laughs> Which okay, you went two extremes have, there. They like. have they have both <laughs> very good, profounding voices. Then I would go with Brad Garrett on voice. Yeah, but Nick Cage is crazy and Hulk is crazy as well. <laughs> and it'd be crazy to see a twin Hulk, two twin, two Nick, twin Hulkos, Nick Cage and Nick Brad Cage Garrett, and Nick Cage against each other. Okay, oh, that's a good one. And then my third season shows up. Ox is a big character. I originally went with Paul Walter Hauser, who was from Itania. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah, that was a good one. He's he's got the look, but then I'm thinking Kevin Heffernan, Super Troopers, Har- Farva. Oh, I was thinking. Yeah, that's good. That Farva, was good. That <laughs> because no, he's, he's like good. could be doing jokes. Yeah, the whole time but he's kind of he's jolly. He's you know, he's jolly. Uh, he's got the charismatic. look already, and he's doing the jokes I the you whole meant time. Kevin James's character from King of Queens. That's what I thought. Kevin James, oh, I thought about making. I games. actually did think about making him. That's Ox, not a bad one. But he's a little older now. He's uh, like right. in his fifties, sixties, probably. Yeah. Uh, it's the same with uh, Farva. He's pretty old right now. But that's yeah, why I yeah, went but with the first yeah, guy it's, it's good. That's good. I, but I, I'm that's picking funny, him though. Super Troopers time. Yes, yes. Because I'm in control of time travel. Uh, Elmo, I'm going Jake Johnson because his role in Tag, he smokes a bunch of weed <laughs> and it's like perfect. Or. Michael Pena doing like the Ant Man recap. Like, Michael so. Pena, I feel like he's the he's a comedian, isn't he? Yeah. He's, no, he's in serious movies, but he's he's actually in a lot more serious serious movies. than comedian. But he seems like it. Oh, okay, he was in um. Uh, he was and now pronounced you Chuck and Larry, wasn't he in that? He was he, one was of he the, in that? Was he? He might be. He, yeah. I've not seen that, in a that while, but... He goes, I'm a 10. Remember that? Oh. <laughs> is that him? No, no, no. That might be the other guy. The, oh, uh, is that the guy from Longest Yard? Yeah. Oh, do you know guy. what? It's that yikes. guy. Yikes. <laughs> Big yikes. <laughs> Big yikes. No, he was in Shooter. So oh, he, he was, was in a... Shooter. He was he in was Eastbound and Down. Shooter. Okay. Yeah. He was in Eastbound and Down. Yeah, there you go. Oh, man. <laughs> I love that show. We're definitely talking about that show eventually. <laughs> it's definitely not the guy from Chuck and Larry. <laughs> no. Uh, and the, oh, my captain, <laughs> little, a little bit it. shorter. Oops, I'll, I'll try to move this along. My captain Stillman is Ty Burrell. <laughs> That's a uh, Modern Family. He plays like that over go lucky guy. But if you've ever seen Dawn of the Dead, he plays a an amazing asshole in yeah, that movie. You're right. So he could definitely play a Captain Stillman. Like, hey. Remove that. <laughs> like I could have see, that removed. <laughs> have that removed. I could see that a hundred percent by him. Um, okay, so <clears throat> my recasting. I didn't do as many characters, but I like the quality of my recasting more than the quantity. What um, you got? So for John or Bill Murray's character, I went with Ryan Reynolds. Just the, the charismatic, funny guy. Yeah. Especially now that Deadpool, he's proved, honestly, now that he's proved he's himself, crushing he it. With Deadpool yeah. saved that guy's life. You know, like his career. Oh, for sure, crushed Deadpool, man. Dude, I've always liked Ryan Reynolds, though. Like I've always he's liked always, him. Yeah, I've just always liked friends him. might be one of my top three oh, for that, him. That, absolutely. What, what was just, just friends, friends when he starts off as a fat guy? Fantastic movie. And then oh yeah, I've seen that one. Okay, with uh, Amy Smart. But I've always liked Ryan Reynolds. Don't get me wrong. But Deadpool just like. Saved him, you know, know, like sprung him into yes, he, a he list. Just went flying, you know. He did uh, Van Wilder? <laughs> Van Wilder. <laughs> that's such a that's one that a bad, like good Van movie. Guy. And one then those... all these movies came out. I was like, okay, no, he's got all these. Uh, roles. Thank God he did Green those. Lantern because that led to to Deadpool. And he, and he met Blake. Blake it Lyman. really did. You know, it definitely he, did. It definitely did. Led him to Deadpool. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, because fucking he played Deadpool before that, and he probably would have never played it again. Yeah. He would not have played it again. C- Cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> what you- well, one, he looks, he looks the part, because I thought probably he, years he could ago, be the goof- I thought they would have seen him. He could be the slacker goofball. Like, yeah, for oh, yeah. sure. But, yeah, um, I agree. My Cruiser, I picked Ethan Hawke. <laughs> I could see that. <laughs> well, the, well, they could play brothers in a movie, too. The, the guy that who plays Cruiser. And- oh, my God. You're blowing my mind. <laughs> if we're, sequel. Right to Ethan Hawke's the brother <laughs> of Cruiser. Uh, and then my Francis. I went with Tobey Maguire. 
I see um, it. Just, I know it's just him going nuts. Just, yeah. just like the the subtle, like n- little sh- trippy the, the, white guy that just like, goes nuts. Like the intro <laughs> intro scene where his like his like black hair was kind of like parted, not parted, but like slightly shifted almost. It reminded me of the the Spider Man three when he's all like dark haired and it's kind of <laughs> disheveled, brutal. and where he's like playing like a meaner guy. I I don't know. I, he could pull it off. Oh I think. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then my probably one of my favorite ones uh, for Stillman, this I did uh, Chris Parnell. That's a good one. That's phenomenal. <laughs> That's a good one. Cyril, Cyril, Cyril you watch figures. Archer. I don't watch. Oh, I used. I watched like would, a bits and pieces oh, so of it you, in college. You know who Cyril is, though. I'm pretty sure. Chris yeah. Parnell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Didn't like he write the, the show? He's. I think he. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure he is one of the writers. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, I, I know he's doubt it either. I'm, just, I'm like 99 percent sure he just gets shot every season. That's funny. Um, so for my, I, I went like, I, I went over the top. I overprepared cause I Good. think, you know, uh, we, we, would, we would prefer that. Yeah. Oh man. So, okay. So I for my seen years in a while, I haven't seen the bottom four and I like them already. So for John, uh, winger, J- Bill Murray's character, I had, uh, Sean William Scott. I thought that was, Great. that was good. You know, he plays a good slacker comedy, you know, goofy guy that could, he could get the girl too. Role models. Yeah. So, role models. Role models, <laughs> role models Ooh, is models such alone. an underrated comedy. I, I love that movie. We've so, done it. We might do it again now with in, you now that you school, said that. In, in, I love that movie. Yeah, so in college good. we watched it for like a month, literally a month straight. Every day when we got back from class, someone would just pop it on and we'd sit there. That could creep in. That's my in my top ten comedies for sure. Uh, so Sean William Scott, and then I had as a secondary a John C. Riley. I thought I, I thought could he could it. do another, that too a little room. bit. Walk hard. He was awesome to walk hard in that lead, in that lead role. Um, so and just kind of like the sl- even. the slob like slacker funny guy. You know, I could see that. Um, for Russell, I thought I thought these were good too. Um, Ed Helms, uh, you know, from The Office, obviously. You know, kind of the dorky like passive aggressive like kind of a pushover f- comedy funny guy. Uh, I thought he would be good for Russell. That is a good one. Uh, and Paul Rudd. Uh, See, I think Paul, Paul Rudd would. I think he would be a great Russell too. Same kind of character. I think if you do Sean William Scott, you got to do Paul Rudd. Right, because they they complement each other. And that's perfect. Right. They, they complemented each other so well in Role Models, and I, th- I, that's why I love that movie so much. Um, I love this it, it was a, it was that a you're sh- about to tell us. This one? I, dude, I fucking love it. <laughs> so for my Sergeant Holka, I put uh, Jerry Stiller. Now, uh, yes. he is by far one of my favorite characters in Seinfeld. Like, in Seinfeld. He's so perfect right, for that's that. That's the first thing I thought of is like if he was his character in Seinfeld, perfect, or, or uh, Zoolander. Yes. Either or, he could play it perfect. That would, just, that would be. just over the top yelling, and you just piss your pants laughing. And Any, anything he says. Oh my god! And a twin role with him would be fucking <laughs> fantastic. I would be so on board for that. So I thought he might be a little old right now, but you know, ten years ago, you well, know, we're thinking, science, see, yeah. I'm in your head. I was thinking Seinfeld time. Yeah, Seinfeld time. Yeah. That'd be perfect. He's still, pretty, he's still pretty old, and he's got that short. Angry man, kind of, you know. Yeah. He's funny, but he can yell. Like he can He's raise got, his voice. Him and George Costanza, they're literally yelling the entire he, series. They're <laughs> they're screaming with, the entire time, out of doubt. <laughs> um, so for Ox, I I I, I struggled. I, like I struggled with Ox for a bit. Uh, that, John that's Candy, another hard one to do. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched uh, uh, Silicon Valley, but Ehrlich from Silicon Valley, yes. T.J. Miller. Uh, he's kind of a bigger guy, you know, goofy guy. I I thought he'd be funny. I was trying to think of like, you know, the bigger charismatic, com- See, was, com- com- you know, it's like Chris Farley and John Candy. That's the only no, people that come know. to mind. So I couldn't think of anybody right now. Like I thought about like Patrice O'Neill throwing him. I mean, he's not really <laughs> that. He's kind of like an angry person. <laughs> he's, he's an his, angry his, 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 his comedy is hilarious. Yeah. But you, like, you he's kind of like, like smart Alec. Like, I yeah, I the could, way he does, he plays it off this seat, this movie. Just I kind of thought about what's the guy from uh, Breaking Bad? Um, Brian Cranston? No, 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 no. The, the <laughs> yeah. big guy, the security guard for oh, for Saul. Oh, the thing? Cornell, Cornell, no, so, or, big black guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the uh, heck's his name? I, Something Corn. Roll me. Uh, no, no. Bro. Thinking of someone totally different. No, 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 no. That's a football coach. Um, what the heck? You know who I'm talking about, I don't though. Know. He's with Bill Burr, though. 
and all their scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Bill Burr. Yeah, he's uh he's he's classic in Breaking Bad. Huel, Huel. Uh <laughs> yeah. Huel, what the heck's his name? Um Anyways, but he he actually he lost like a hundred pounds. Have you seen this guy lately? No. Uh, and he did a he did a comedy, you know, uh, stand up thing recently on Netflix. It was pretty funny. Um, and then for my fifth Elmo, that's uh, Judge Reinhold, his character. You know, just I, I was trying to think real hard about like stoner comedy guys <laughs> right now. Person, and the only the, are you holding? You holding? You holding? <laughs> Um, and I thought Ashton Kutcher would have been a good one. Ooh, nice. Ashton Kutcher, uh, and then James Franco. I I thought those two would have been both good roles. James Franco and Knocked Up was See, was classic. I think, I think you go James Franco on that one. You think you go James James Franco for that one? Yeah, I think you go James Franco. More of a pothead, and in like the time frame we got, James Franco. I think Ashton, Ashton Kutcher is too young and good looking. Ashton Kutcher, yeah, but like him and him, like young, do do like, where's my car days? But we're though. picking it through the time frame oh, of oh, Lavelle, his pick. Lavelle Crawford. Yeah, that's Huel's name. That's, that's Huel. That guy. I thought about him for Ox. <laughs> you know, That'd be a good one. A goofy but like big fat as, guy. He's not like as I don't know, inviting. But if you've seen his stand up though, he's a goof. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, but, but anyway, like the doesn't really matter. Ass. Yeah. It, you need the we back were talking and forth. about that before. Like John Candy's irreplaceable. Yeah, it, the only person I mean, that could be is John, John Candy, Candy. Or Chris Farley. John That's it. Or who do you place with Bill Murray? Oh, Bill Murray. Like it's yeah, exactly. Impossible. Also, your six and seven are fantastic. Uh, I love the. Okay. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> okay. I did not see either of those. So for Stillman, uh, Captain Stillman, I put Zach oh, Woods. Hundred percent agree. Uh, Zach Woods is he's Gabe from The Office, and he's Jared <laughs> from uh, Silicon Valley. Gabe Just being Wad. The, the, <laughs> is that what called you, Gabe Wad? Here yet? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> Just being like the total suck up, like kiss ass guy, oh, uh, trying to impress face. everybody. I thought that was good. Um, and then for Psycho, I thought this was good. like a nice cameo. Uh, both of these guys, I think, would be good. Yes. Uh, Jeremy Renner and that. Matt Damon, just being just yelling at people, being like, <laughs> "I'll kill you." <laughs> you, know? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Like, but Matt, that's all their scenes. You don't see them ever. That's again. it. Just he's got like a couple lines, and I would <laughs> you would die. I'd piss my pants laughing at Jeremy Renner or or Matt Damon either, being Psycho. Either one being. I think it'd be funnier. Lighten up. <laughs> Matt, Matt, Damon, Matt, Damon, Matt, Damon, Matt yeah. Damon, because I don't see him as a badass as much. But like Jeremy Renner, have Rutter you watched any of the Bourne movies? Yeah, but that was any like of 10 them? Years are ago. you nuts? What are you, <laughs> that was are you like kidding me? He's like an ago. action star. <laughs> He's one of the biggest action stars. I don't want Just... nobody touching my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I can touching only me? see Matt Damon. I don't Matt want Damon any of you homos touching my stuff. Touching me. So I thought that was good. It kind of reminded me of Matt Damon and. A Euro trip, <laughs> just like one of those, <laughs> one of those slipping random cameos. That's just hysterical. You're, uh, you're looking, you're like, is that Matt Damon? <laughs> Wait a minute, Matt, Matt Damon? Damon's got like a bull piercing <laughs> on his nose. Uh, so I thought, I thought either of those guys would be funny, like little cameos for Psycho. I like it. So now we got, we got movies next. Top Ranking ten movies. Uh, Top yeah, 10. we're gonna be uh, ranking. Uh, Bill Murray movies. Top ten Bill top, Murray movies. Top ten Bill Murray movies. So I jump ship in Hong Kong, and I make my way over to Tibet, and I get on as a looper at a cruise over there in Himalaya. Looper, looper. Uh, looper. you? Know? A caddy. A looper. A jock. A caddy. A looper. I tell him I'm a pro jock. So I tell him I'm a pro jock. <laughs> now who do you think they give me? The Dalai Lama <laughs> The 12th son of the Lama. The flowing robe. The 12th son of the Lama. Called. Striking. Striking. <laughs> so I'm on a first tee. What am I giving the driver? So like to, imp- to improvise this. Egg in the Lama. Into a 12,000 foot crest. Into a 10,000 foot <laughs> crevice right at the base of this glacier. Gunga. Do you know what the Lama says? Do you know what the- No. Gunga. I love the kid's face too. He's <laughs> terrified. He's got to get poked. <laughs> so we finish 18. He's going to stiff me. He's going to stiff me. And I say, hey, Lama, hey, how about a little something, you know, for the effort, you know? And he says, oh, uh, 
There won't be any money. <laughs> but when you die on your deathbed, you will receive total, total consciousness. So I got that going for me. So I got that going for me. I say this way too often. Which is nice. Which is nice. So I got that going for me. So for our last segment, we will be ranking our top five Bill Murray movies. Um, I'll go first, then Tony, and then Jeremy. Um, I'm going to switch it up on the fly. Oh, we did it again. Yeah, I'm going to go Caddyshack number one because I can quote that movie. You're not, you're not starting from your honorable mentions? Oh, I am going to start with my honorable mentions. Forget ah, that I said it, my number one. <laughs> Are we going top five or, or what? No, top five. Top, top whatever. whatever you got. Top whatever you got. Okay, good. Because I don't have 10. Oh, I don't have dude. five. Okay. Forget what I just said. We'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> How much editing about? We'll edit we'll all we'll of it, Tony. Make me sound good. I'm just, uh, just going to have right, a so, picture of you just like. <laughs> just talking. My mouth is mouth opening. just open. <laughs> and just rebuttal. <laughs> um, all right. My honorable mentions. Um, I will explain these. Space Jam, Zombieland, and Get Smart. That's fair. Only because he is just a short cameo in all those movies. I mean, Zombieland, he probably has the most time. Space Jam, number two. But it's like a short oh, cameo. Oh, yeah, I would agree with that. But he I love does him them. in both those movies. He does it so good I mean, in both those. So... He almost steals the show. Definitely with, not with scripted five either. Minutes. With five minutes, he steals the show. <laughs> Zombieland, um, he abs- are you talking about Zombieland? Zombieland for and sure. Space Jam. Oh, Space, Space Jam, Jam for sure. Oh, yeah, no. He was like, they were retired, like Michael Jordan told him, untie. say whatever you want. <laughs> Larry's, not okay, Larry's not white. Larry's not white. Larry's clear. clear. <laughs> so many good ones. That could have been me. <laughs> that could have been, been me. Uh, I got to ice, so ice my knees. I got to ice my knees. There's only one other you know, movie. You know, I don't play defense. There's only one other movie cameos, cameos <laughs> in that I put it higher. Uh, but Actually, Monument Men is my number ten. Oh derail, gosh. I was going to derail you again because I think I have a Bill Murray Space Jam jersey. <laughs> Do you? I think my sister got it for me for my birthday. That's so good. <laughs> I want one. Ooh. You already got your birthday. I don't play yeah, defense. I, I, I want. I ha, I think I had like a Toon Squad for sure. No. Like the Bugs Bunny. <laughs> like just that's Whoa. the one they sold normally. Uh, but Monument yeah, Men. Monument Men. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's okay. The, not one of his best. That's Saint, number ten. That's one number ten. Yep. Uh, Saint Vincent, I did like with him. He was a big character in that, and he was just like this old, angry Polish guy. It was yeah. perfect. Uh, Scrooge, uh, one of the Christmas movies I probably watch that when it's not Christmas, just because it's Bill yeah, Murray. Just because. Bad Santa, I can watch that any time of the day. That's, that's another an, one. That's another like, one. That's you know? a number one. Like, that's this an all might time, be a, that, this all is time. a three three point on my Christmas. Also, that, I gotta that, redo my top five and put that in there. <laughs> I gotta say, Bad Santa. Oh, man, yeah, but and half it, baked, half baked, and had to, uh, Bad Santa uh, for all time comedy. Oh, they're so good, man. I know we're derailing a little bit here. Right, that's but, okay. I was gonna yeah, derail it too ones. because I think. Who is it? I think Elmo in this is the stepfather in the Santa Claus, which that's all I knew him he is. from. That he was, is. That's all I knew him from. Oh, Judge, Judge Reinhold? Yeah. Judge. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Judge. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's did, right. The only thing I knew him from he's, was that. Like, a weenie Waiting whistle. for the weenie whistle. <laughs> <laughs> the weenie whistle. My weenie whistle. And then, like, whistle. it falls into his hand, and he's like, he is Santa Claus. Ah. <laughs> uh. I think you're taking this to an unhealthy yeah. level. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So we just roll right into Santa Claus. Right? <laughs> so it's he's it's so good May. in that movie. Though. Joe Reinhold is great in that movie, dude. He is. He is. He's perfect. Right. Anyway, god damn it. <laughs> You're number um, seven. Where were my we? number seven, Kingpin. Yes. This is the Love only that. one where he's a cameo, but he's such a good cameo. Yeah. He's in the movie As for like two minutes. Ernie oh, yeah. McCracken <laughs> is the best bowler of all time. <laughs> and he's got the fucking rose ball. That's when he, the, 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 the hair. And the hair. <laughs> it is one of my favorite cameos of all time. Oh, like, yeah, being absolutely. a bowler, this is oh, my probably God. one of my, one of my top movies. It's got to be. Um, number six, Meatballs. Um, I haven't seen it in a very long time, but it's one of the best sports, not sports, but like, uh, speeches, like improv, get you jacked, miracle? get you jacked speeches. Miracle. Bill Murray does a good job on getting people jacked for speeches. Captain America. He's got great speeches. He does. And then it's up there. Uh, number five. What about Bob? <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> oh my God. 
Richard Dreyfus and him are per- <laughs> like that straight edge humor and Bill Murray being crazy is like works perfectly. Uh, Groundhog Day for literally every reason we talked about. Uh, number three is definitely Stripes, though, for everything we've talked about, plus more. Uh, my number two is Ghostbusters. You sw- I'm it switching it. Oh, you're switching, switching it. Swaps it on the only, fly. Wow. Only on the it's, river. It's, <laughs> he's, it's, he's got a lot of quotes in it. And, like, it's an ensemble, though. Like, I like it because of him and Rick Moranis and... Dan oh, Aykroyd, you went right to Rick and, Moranis. And, and, dude, <laughs> right away, Rick Moranis. I'm not uh, arguing. I'm just saying. But my number one, Candy Shack. I could. I mean, well, clearly, so many quotes off of that movie alone, just from him. Yeah. Even though he's a side character, he wasn't even supposed to be. He in filmed the movie. for like five days, and that's it. He was supposed to have one scene, and then they're like, "Oh no, he's too good to not have in this." Movie. Oh yeah. They realize like, oh. uh we have Bill Murray and Chevy Chase without a scene together. <laughs> They've we never had a, a scene together. We need to put them then. together. Yeah. It's one of right. it's got to be my favorite. That's fair. That's fair. I uh, catch me on a different day when I watch Ghostbusters though, and Ghostbusters <laughs> is my favorite though. Like, my top 3 switch around like crazy. <laughs> so, um, okay, so for my top list, my honorable mentions, um, Scrooged and SNL, like his time from the bits that we've seen that come from SNL. Okay, I've, I've only seen a few things on SNL. I feel like I well, should that's a, watch that's the more. Thing. Yeah, like people know him. Oh, he was on SNL, but most of the stuff you know him from is his movies mm-hmm. and other stuff outside of it. Um, my number ten, uh, Space Jam. Nice. And see, he plays himself, so that could almost be number one, <laughs> like, right? You could put a good argument that that should be number and one. Num- you could, and I wouldn't fight you on it, really. Right? <laughs> He's so good in that movie. Everything he says, you just crack the hell just up. Fantastic. And he's golfing with every like. <laughs> Larry's not white. <laughs> Larry's clear. Larry's clear. You can stop posing now. <laughs> or was, get that thing away from me. <laughs> yeah, when he slaps, when he slaps the goddamn camera out of Newman's hand. One of my favorite scenes in all movies. <laughs> Don't point that at me. You point that at me. <laughs> And he's got like the the umbrella. Head the up. umbrella. Does he, like, chuck it or something. He chucks the camera. I or... think he just slaps it right out of me. Just like what? Like <laughs> goes up for a punch almost. <laughs> it's just phenomenal. Oh, it's oh. great. Uh, my number nine, Zombieland, from everything we've said. Oh my god, I completely missed that. Um, Did you not have zombie? No, no, I had honorable mention. I was gonna say. All oh, right, I included even though it is like a glorified I did a cameo. Cameo. Uh, it, I'm it glad you put it place. higher because yeah. it does earn its place. Uh, number eight, Lost in Translation. Um, number seven, Monuments Men. I mean, yeah. it probably could go I'm lower, but I think when I was making the list, I was just like, okay, Bill Murray movies, I've seen it. I wrote them down and I didn't go back and shuffle them, but I'm okay with the list where it is. John Goodman's in that movie, though, so you're set. There's a lot of people in that movie. But too. see, now I'm very upset with this one. Uh, yeah, I, uh, switching it. You know, I'm gonna call do one of yours. I'll switch it up. Um, number six, Saint Vincent. No, oh. drop down. Yeah. Dropped it way down. <laughs> way down. I, I do like the movie, but it is a good movie. It's not it, great. it is a good movie, but it's no, it's not a, the best movie ever. But so six, Saint Vincent. Um, I'll do five, Groundhog Day. I'll leave it where it is. Okay. Mm. I know, still He's going to catch so a lot of flack. Top of, yeah, but top five, <laughs> respectable. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. I was th- I, I was almost putting stripes there, but uh, number f- See, this is why I like it, because he didn't put stripes there. <laughs> number four, stripes. He knew he'd get yelled at. He knew no, he'd get no, yelled no. At. number four, kingpin. I'll leave it. I think, I'll just swap those two. I think, yeah. Oh, wow. And swap. it might it might be just big because... Big swap. It it's might be just swap. because we just watched it, too. That, yeah. might, that might play Oh, into, yeah, you said you hadn't seen it many <laughs> I times. I haven't seen it. See, that's why... I, I haven't I, seen it thousands of times. I've seen it... But, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so, that Stripes is number three. Stripes is number three. Okay. Um, Now I like it. And my top two, I, I think I keep switched it? three or four. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> because number one is what originally got me into the comedy... The, Bill Murray of it all, but number two, Caddyshack. Even though I, uh, it's just too good. 
I think that's why I had to switch it. And then my number one, Ghostbusters, just because all his line deliveries. Like, where do these stairs go? They go up. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like the most straight face and but we, humorous and we came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Can I put the baby down? Yeah, you're short, <laughs> you're fat, <laughs> tongue sticks out too far. So I'm gonna probably catch some flack on my list, but not from me. Uh, that's uh, fine. I'm gonna yell from... at you right away. That's fine. I've you only seen seven. You know what? Movies. That, if that's, you've only seen me, these seven, though. Talk. All right, that's but okay. I don't okay know the that. other ones enough to put them in there. You okay, know? I'm not gonna right, be like, all right, he's not gonna these movies me. I've seen several times. Like, I'm not gonna put the other ones in there. It's not gonna pull. So you could you can honorable mention them. The ones you've seen but you won't rank? Uh, I, I, I would be doing Bill Murray a disservice by, oh, lab- by labeling a, a number on him. So I'm just going to let him go. That's, but, that's why we picked this fair. guy to rank. <laughs> to talk about Strive. So, You're not so, pulling me and ranking a movie you haven't seen. Right. So. So seven. I mean I, I mean, I love Kingpin. That's such a good movie, and his character is classic. That the, the comb the over swoop is just, <laughs> just hilarious. With the rose. <laughs> yeah, everyone knows that pose <laughs> he's all time in that movie all time cameo uh zombie land now we already talked about zombie land earlier i believe but um i think it's a really good movie it's pretty i feel like it's underrated in its own way absolutely huh. um but i pretty sh- i'm pretty sure i saw it in theaters and i loved it because i had somebody had s- talked about it yeah. at one point and i was like all right i gotta go check it out woody harrelson Bill Murray coming oh, in there. Oh, man, when, you're, when you see the BM on the gate, you're thinking like, "All right, who is yeah, who who's is gonna this? be the BM?" It's and like, then they literally start playing uh, Ghostbusters. You see, like, it's not Bob Marley, <laughs> Barry Manilow. It's, it's just Bill, Bob. and then you see Bill Murray's painting. Yeah, <laughs> of just himself in the, and the. Don't great. they play the Ghostbusters? It's like I think right after the. And then so. Space uh, number five is Space Jam. I know Fantastic we talked about pick. that. See, you funny got, you thing, got two himself playing himself. Yeah, because I feel confident putting like those that. in there. I like that. So with the Space Jam, it's my favorite. One of my favorite lines of the movie is literally the last line of the entire movie <laughs> when he just goes, "Let's go Bulls." <laughs> It's like voice crack. The, the voice <laughs> crack. The voice crack. Larry, so good. Larry, He's with that Larry, could have right? been me. Larry, <laughs> that could have been, been, been me. Been, give it up, Bill. <laughs> give, give it, let's go, Bulls. <laughs> let's go, Bulls. <laughs> that's actually like my. Oh my that's God. my picture on Venmo. That literally oh, oh, really? him <laughs> saying "Let's go, Bulls" is my picture on Venmo. Um, so everyone that's listening, Jeremy will be on for Space Jam. We will be talking <laughs> yeah. about Space Jam with Jeremy. Venmo is sure. open. <laughs> at Venmo's Jeremy open. underscore <laughs> Trinchier or the other dash Trinchier. Um, <laughs> so number four. Okay, this is where I'm going to catch flack. I understand that Caddyshack. Okay, now let me explain. Okay, I've only seen Caddyshack one time. Ooh. Very oh, crazy. No, very bullshit. crazy. That I'll give you a flack for. Not That's for what I'm words. saying. <laughs> Let me explain myself. I've, I saw Caddyshack for the first time last year. Ooh, recent. It was wow. one of these things like Did you see all the my full friends, version or the cut version? I'm pretty sure it was the full version. It was like a DVD or, or I rented okay, it full, or something. Yeah, full. So this is what happened. So like it's one of these things. My... Especially growing up with all our friends, all our, our Irish, you know, you, the Northwest Side guys, they all love this movie, you know. Like, oh, and you were, you were, we were, a caddy, yeah, so. most of yeah, my oh, friends yeah, were everyone's caddies. a caddy. Right. I wasn't a, yeah. I didn't everyone have that experience, was, especially because yeah. you're caddies. So everyone was talking up this movie, and like I hadn't seen it, and, and like it's always on TV. But I'm like, yeah, I respect yeah. movies. I'm not gonna start a movie in the middle. In the middle, never. Oh and my especially God. if it's a Bill Murray movie, you know, I'm like no, I'm sure. not doing no. that. So it was just one of these things. Thing. Like, all right, I want to watch it like uncut, and like get it all in one sitting. I'm not gonna start in the middle. And like my parents didn't have it, you know, I didn't have it. Like no one's lo- loaning me the Caddyshack DVD. So like it just never. So I finally saw it, and this it, this is what happened. Like it'd been hyped up for. 15 years. Okay, I could see that. And, like, I was a yeah. little underwhelmed because I expected so much more of Bill Murray. That's I mean, fair. he was good. He was good. Don't get me wrong. It's a great movie. I think it was but, like, say that's I was ready to... The- I was ready to die laughing the entire time. You know what I mean? Yeah, like The entire time, yeah. Everyone uh, that we grew up with says it's a top comedy. Number one, number two, you know, top three. And I'm like, all right, I expect a lot. So, like, that's, true. that's why I put it down to number four. But, like, it's still a good <laughs> Respectable. movie. Respectable. 
but it's, it's, it's a big confession five. because like everyone, I I wanted so much out now. of it. All right, but you know it's funny. No, it's it is like, funny. Like, like, but like I saw it now versus when I was fifteen. You it's know, impossible to rank. Yeah, that's true. That would have been a totally different, totally yeah. different experience. When 15, you're fifteen, 15 you're pissing your pants, old, laughing yeah. the entire time. Murray being an idiot. So okay, so that's number four. That's Groundhog cool. Day. Yep. I, I I'm actually you know what? I'm gonna swap Groundhog Day too. I'm gonna put Ghostbusters number three. So number three. Ooh. Okay. Um, now just you're, because now I've you're seen catching flack. Now I'm gonna. Ca- no, but I'm I've seen Groundhog fine. Day way more that's than fair. I've seen Ghostbusters. Such a good point. I've I've seen Ghostbusters a few times. Uh, funny, funny Ghostbusting story. Ghostbuster story. You're a Ghostbuster. Um, but so, <laughs> oh, shit. The, so one of the hate, like, uh, what they would do to fuck with like the people that were uh, pledging this frat I was going for my freshman year. Uh, they had these over the shoulder uh, vacuum cleaners. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yes. Like the industrial, like yeah, the big, the big ones. So oh, what yeah. they would do, they would take all the pledges and be like, they're gonna, they're gonna pick one of them. And pull one of them into their rooms and blast the ghost. But <laughs> they're like, "All right, listen, vacuum everything. I'm gonna blast the Ghostbuster theme, and you're gonna come in here and you're gonna freaking dance." <laughs> and it Dude, was that would, hysterical. That would not be a punishment for me. Be, like, so you better have a good finishing move, and you better Buster, come in with a bang. And vacuuming their room. It was the funniest thing I've ever seen, like, as far as, like, uh, messing with pledges or just freshmen in general, like, hazing, you know what I mean? It was, it was hysterical. Hazing used to be <laughs> fun. <laughs> and they're just vacuuming <laughs> your fun. room. And there's just a, bu- a bunch of the guys just cracking the hell up watching you do this. Uh, so that's my number three. And then Groundhog Day. I, I just because I've two? seen it. Just because I've seen it a uh, lot more time. And that movie is always on TV. Yes. That one, is, and, you can always catch it. That's and, actually, so we got, I got yelled at from Skelton. That's his birthday. It's Groundhog Day. Okay. And we did not review it with him. Oh, burn so him. gave me a bunch of shit. That'll be on you then. <laughs> yeah, not, I'm, I'm putting that one on you. Skelton would be me, a good guest for that too. <laughs> but we'll have him back on. But. So then, okay, so I know I'm extremely biased, so Stripes is number one for me. That's my all-time yeah. favorite because, like, I grew up watching Stripes, like, more. That's why we like, had my you parents, I was going to say, I expect people, guests on guests to of the movie to be their top movie. Because <laughs> That's what I would expect. Yeah, because my parents love, my mom quotes Lighten up Francis all the time. That whole Perfect. intro scene, she loves that movie, and my dad too. And it's just, I, I grew up watching that. That was my Bill Murray movie growing up, you know? That's awesome. Hence me seeing Caddyshack when I was 27 <laughs> yeah. years old, 26 years old. But uh, so yeah, Stripes is my number one. Yeah, see, if you picked Perfect, anything yeah. else, you're a little disappointed because <laughs> that's why we had you on. But although we did do multiple Bill Murray movies before, but. I'm glad you picked this, this one. Is, yeah. yeah. This is uh, one that we I probably wouldn't have thought been like, oh, yeah, let's do Stripes. Let's do Stripes. You know? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that outside. Like, oh, yeah, I love this movie. That wouldn't, but... that wouldn't have made our randomization list yeah. for sure. Uh, but before – all right, so before we wrap up the episode, we're going to tell you what's coming up for Tim and Tony. Uh, next week, take a look out for episode, episode 100. Uh, missed it by one. Missed, missed it by one. one. We that almost had close. Jeremy on for number one hundred. Maybe we'll bring him back. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to do some some homework before he comes on. I think, I, think I did my homework. No, you you got got my homework. No, you got two more <laughs> movies. You got two. So we're gonna next do, week is two movies. We're doing two movies for the first time ever, or second time, but we're gonna record it right this time. <laughs> you hit this I twice. You to. brought it. Had to. <laughs> Because you mentioned it by name earlier. Yes. Um, yeah, so keep a lookout for that. Um, this has been our show this week. Hope you enjoyed it. You can follow us on social media and our website, timandtonytalk.com. And remember, share this with your friends. And make sure to join us next week for the Mile Manor Movie Review. Uh, same bat time, same bat channel. Thanks for listening. I'm Tim. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Tony. And we are the Three Stooges. <laughs> Good night.